climate, what's going to happen? Um, uh, here again, in, in, in part uh, prodded by, by good work from, uh, from the Aspen Institute and others, uh, the Business Roundtable undertook a, uh, a new statement of our position on climate policy. Uh, we started this before the pandemic. I mean, once yeah, we, it came yeah. out in September 2020. So it and came I think out it was in a, September 2020. It was a the, year of kind of discernment on it. Yeah, I recall. Uh, and it was actually resolved in March of 2020. Yeah. And in fact, we were we were going to release our statement in March of 2020, and then we thought, oh boy, it'll it'll get lost. Yeah. So we we held it until September, which also didn't turn out to be a particularly good time to to release a big policy statement. But uh, but we had started a year before March of 20. So we had started in early 2019 a revision of the Business Roundtable statement on climate policy. And I have to say, somewhat to my surprise, we arrived at a consensus position. And remember that the Business Roundtable represents the entirety of uh, the, the spectrum of industries in the United States. Um, the Business Roundtable came to a consensus position that said, not, not just that climate change is real, but that there need to be aggressive and important public policy measures to address it, and that the most important one is that we must put a price on carbon. That is, and, and for most people that means a carbon tax, but there's other ways to put a price on carbon, and, and on that our members are, are not in full consensus but they are in consensus that there needs to be a price on carbon in this economy um, in order to address the crisis that they all acknowledge exists. Now, what uh, can we, can the business community support, which has traditionally at least been viewed as resisting strong government action on climate, um, can we help move the political process? Yes, I think so, but the, uh, but the political polarization on, on the issue is so extreme that at this moment, even the Biden administration is not really proposing a price on carbon, which is what we need.